We are excited about our new online registration system for MediaNow this summer and just wanted to show you a few things. Now, if you're coming to Webster for our MediaNow Webster camp in June, when you hit the Register Now page, you're going to come to a uh, web page that looks like this, and it's going to allow you a few things. It's going to allow you to register as yourself or as someone else, where a family member may want to register you, or even for you advisors, you could register all the students that you have coming uh, in one swoop, get all the information from them, uh, and you can punch it all in and have all that registration there under your name. Well, for just showing you the back end here, I'm going to click and uh, show you myself. Now, the first time you click and do this, you're actually going to have to create with a username uh, and a password to get logged in the second time. I've already got some of this stuff filled in, but you see you just fill in your uh, basic contact information here, address, a phone number, your birth date, and then you go ahead and continue on to the next part. Now this next part, we grab a little bit more information from you, emergency contact, and you'll see here on these things, there are some red starred items. Those are uh, parts of the form that are required, so we need emergency contact and a phone number. If you do have some dietary restrictions, please make sure you lock those in there so we can prep for the lunches we have coming. Now we're also asking for Twitter and Instagram handles. Now you'll notice those are not required if you see right there. These are just because from time to time at Media Now Buzz on uh, Twitter and Instagram, we like giving shout outs uh, to those of you who are going to be joining us this summer. So if you'd like us to give you a shout out, go ahead and drop in your Twitter or Instagram handles there and uh, you might see us um, um, uh, say congratulations for joining us. Uh, in a future post. Go ahead, uh, once you get down there, your school information, uh, what grade are you going to be in next year, um, what is uh, the high school that you go to, your publication advisor's name, make sure you have their email address there. Go ahead and put what staffs you're primarily on as well as what social media channels your staff uses if you know. It'd be great here also, not only could we give you a shout up above with some of your social stuff, but we could um, give your publication a shout as well if you go ahead and drop in their Instagram or Twitter handles if you don't mind and list the website, we'd love to check it out. Now. For this camp at Webster, we're not going to have access to computer labs. Uh, most of the offerings that we have, you're not going to need a computer. If you bring one, it's going to be great, but good old-fashioned paper and pencil or taking notes on your mobile device will be great with how we have set up. Now, there are some in the descriptions of some of the courses that say a DSLR camera is needed if you want to learn how to use it um, or in an InDesign workshop you may want to bring a laptop so you can play along. Now you could go to a workshop to learn how to use InDesign. People do this all the time at workshops and conferences and they don't have it. They just take notes and they kind of watch the instructor working. Um, we'd probably find that if you do have access to getting InDesign at home uh, on your computer or maybe uh, bringing a laptop from school or something like that for the three days with us at Webster, uh, it, it might be to your benefit, definitely. So if you have any questions about that, please uh, email us and let us know and we'll be glad to help you there. And then there's another question here. Is there anything else that the staff needs to know either about food allergies you have or medication you'll be taking during the day? And then what we'd love at the bottom here, is there something you really want to get out or are there some things you really want to get out of media now? Uh, we really feel with the schedule and the format that we have at Webster that um, people are going to get a lot of great things out of it, but we want to make sure if there's any final tweaking or catering we can do to meet your needs, uh, we'd love for it in that box there. Then when you get that done, go ahead and hit continue and this is really the fun part. So you get to go ahead, you get your workshop registration set, and then you come in here uh, and you get to pick what classes you have. So you might come in in session one here and you want to kick things off. You would love this, you know, you really need some help writing cut lines. So you go ahead and take that one. It's going to, what it does there, if you noticed, it blocks out all the other things. So if I uncheck that, well, then I could, well, actually, I want to do a publication design makeover. So I select that one and it blocks out all the other ones during that block. I'll come down to session two here. And I'll go ahead, ooh, this photography camera advanced. I know a little bit about photography, but this one looked really good. So I'm going to check that for my second session. Now, coming down here to session three on day one, there are going to be two morning sessions and two afternoon sessions. You'll see some of the sessions we have have part one or maybe a part two or three or even four by them. If I check this box because I want to join school newspapers online, snow sites, and work with their design tools, not only is it going to block stuff off there for part one, but when I come down here to session four on day one, 
everything's going to be blocked out except this snow design tools part two because those are links so we made things so if you're taking a two-part session or a three-part session or whatever it is it's pretty easy for you to go ahead and make the selections that you need to you can go ahead and move on then to day two and let's see i'll pick a media law thing man with all the new voices stuff going on very timely to uh hit one of those things uh ooh, telling a great photo story i'll take that session two session three on day two i really would like this um uh, this 10 mobile apps you should be using. So I'm going to do that one. And then I'm going to end the day, uh, session four, writing, making it personal. I think that one's with Ken Fusen. So yeah, I definitely want to hear him while he's going to be there. Now, day three, the cool thing is uh, we do have some one-off sessions that you can take all day. So mix and match four sessions in. But day four or day three really is um, for those four sessions for many of the classes, roll up your sleeves and do things. You have a whole day where you can film, edit, uh, film and edit a video and get feedback on it. That's actually going to be a four-parter. You have a hands-on design workshop. There's a hands-on yearbook workshop. And so you can mix and match some of these things with what you want to do. So let's say I want to take leadership. Uh, I want to get one of these leader se leadership sessions in uh, with Mitch Eden. I'm going to go ahead and take those. And then I have, ooh, a one-on-one -on -one time with a photo pro. Yeah, I totally want that. And then I'm going to end my Media Now workshop experience with Journalism's 10 Deadly Sins uh, with Jim Streisel, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, then I'm going to come down here and pick my shirt size. I'm going to grab a medium on that and go down. I'm going to acknowledge everything. I'm going to confirm my selections. And then I'm going to be good to go. They're checking my form. I'm good to go. And I should be able to save and continue. And I'll be taken to the payment page for it. Now, the cool thing about this registration thing, you can go ahead and pay and get all this taken care of. If you would like to, at a later date, um, come in and change some of your selections, as long as those classes haven't closed, because we do have cap space on um, all of these things. As long as a class hasn't closed, you could come in and uh, undo this photo pro, one-on-one uh, -on -one photo time with a pro, and instead, you know, hook up and do a little individual time with snow uh, during that time. So this, this system does allow you to make changes. Uh, again, we're super excited about it, and we think it's going to make registering to be with us this June, super easy for you. So I hope that little uh, walkthrough helped. Uh, thanks for a few minutes of your time. And again, if you have any questions for Kate and I, uh, feel free to ask. When you get done here, you hit save and continue. Uh, check the form and we are good to go. So anyway, hope you guys have a great day and uh, look forward to hearing from you.